Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the scientific discovery that took spacecraft from being able to access the moon to being able to travel to other planets. It did this by showing us that the faster a spacecraft is going, the more kinetic energy we can get out of the fuel in that spacecraft. Fuel is one of the most limiting factors in our ability to travel in space for a number of reasons. The most important of which is that the spacecraft can only provide as much impulse as the fuel will allow, but the more fuel that is on the spacecraft, the heavier it is making it harder to escape from the Earth's atmosphere, which early in its history left NASA afraid that travel to other planets would require all interplanetary spacecraft to be assembled in space, as they just couldn't get enough fuel through the atmosphere. So the Ober effect is the discovery that the greater speed the spacecraft has, the more efficient the fuel is. But let's actually take a look at why that is. So let's imagine we have a spacecraft that is travelling at 7 km a second at one point in its orbit, and at 8 km a second and another. At both of these points it could burn some fuel to increase its velocity by 1 km. In each position it does this, it will gain kinetic energy. But, as the kinetic energy of an object is equal to 1 half mv squared, it will gain more kinetic energy if it chooses to use the 8 km a second position, as the change in velocity's effect is squared. In fact, it gains 1 million joules of energy just by firing at this faster position. The energy gained here by the spacecraft is from the escaping fuel, which loses a larger amount of kinetic energy at these higher velocities, thereby ensuring energy is conserved. An excellent example of just how useful the Ober effect is, is in the different changes in velocity required to reach Mars when compared with trying to reach the Moon. When travelling to the Moon, it is very hard to exploit the Ober effect as the engines tend to fire over a longer period, meaning most of the burn is not done at the fastest point in the orbit, whereas when travelling to Mars, more powerful chemical engines are used, performing most of their burns such as to exploit the over effect, which means that the change in velocity needed to reach Mars by this craft will be around the same as that required to reach the Moon for the less fuel efficient craft. This has been a brief summary of the Ober effect, as well as some of its many applications. I hope you've enjoyed it.